big TV set near you, the big show, the Joe Franklin Show, big one tonight, featuring the lady that we call Miss Solution, because she feels there's a solution for almost every problem, Dr. D. We get mad. You talk about Perry Como used to sing, we get letters, we get a lot of, we get hundreds all the time asking for some solutions. She's here with us, along with uh, Chauncey uh, Hayden, who gives us some controversial gossip as in Stepping Out magazine. Got an interview today of me interviewing me. A little bit of uh, memorabilia. We've got uh, Tommy Rattaco. We've got Richie Ornstein. We've got a whole bunch of surprises here today. I want to start, though. We've been doing Irving Berlin. I thought that our ragtime pianist, Mark Birnbaum, might like to know that after Mr. Berlin wrote Alexander's Ragtime Band, and that's the original sheet music from 1911. That's when the title pages were huge. After that, he kept on writing many, many, many ragtime songs. Mr. Berlin wrote the ragtime soldier man. He's a rag picker. Picking out that rag on the piano keys. Stop that rag. Keep on playing. When he had a partner named Ted Snyder. The ragtime soldier man. These are very precious. That mysterious rag by Berlin and Snyder again. That international rag. Words and music, of course, by Irving Berlin always. The ragtime violin. Yiddle on your fiddle, play some ragtime. What about that one? And you might like to know that many other songwriters wrote songs about Irving Berlin. A. Seymour Brown wrote, Izzy, get busy, write another uh, little ragtime tune. His real name was Izzy, as in Izzy Baylin, who later on became Irving Berlin. So it's uh, fun to go down music memory lane with the uh, man who uh, Jerome Kern once said, has no place in American music because he is American music, Irving Berlin. Big show today, many surprises, and the program begins something like this. We shall return. Stay here. Okay, welcome home, and this is your home every night, we hope. I've been joined or rejoined by two of the members of our little... Uh, memory lane uh, hospital unit. We take these people out to uh, all these different uh, nursing homes and veterans homes and uh, when they uh, can hardly walk and talk, they still get up and they give standing ovations to Tommy Rattaco and to our ragtime. In fact, when, when I was holding up the ragtime songs, I saw Mark Birnbaum was uh, quite intrigued by the Irving Berlin material, right? It's lovely to be here. Joe, I've always wanted to ask you, was Irving Berlin ever on this program? Uh, never on TV, once on radio. Had him on the radio. Mm. Well, we have him here in spirit. We've got all that wonderful ragtime. He told me once on the radio, Irving Berlin told me that he spent four years, he couldn't get the last line to a song. The song was called Remember, about 1924. And he, <laughs> he wrote, Remember the night, the night you said, I love you. Remember you vowed by all the stars above you. Remember, remember we found a lonely spot, and after I'd learned to care a lot, you promised that you'd forget me not. And then he was me for four years. Then he finally, after four years, he got the last line, but you forgot to remember. remember. <laughs> it's so easy when you say it, but go try and write it, huh? That's right. That was a tough one to write, huh? Yeah. Anyhow, uh, we're uh, honoring a magazine that honored me. <laughs> Why not? And uh, <laughs> Why not? Sean, great. see, what do you want to say about the uh, current uh, special summer double issue of Stepping Out? Okay, yeah. We're proud of that one. That's where Pat Benatar... And that's a double issue. That means it runs for two weeks straight. We do that once a year.